welcome back to the Washington Way. So as you see, it's just me today and we're talking all things wedding planning. So Jermaine and I decided that it would, well, actually, let me be real. It was me who decided that I think I should do this video alone because let's be honest, when it comes to wedding planning, women are really the only ones who do the wedding planning and men come in as they please. So I just want to give you guys everything based on my experience with wedding planning. As we mentioned to y'all in the previous video, we're getting married May 29th, 2021. I will officially be Miss Washington and I am beyond excited about that. So when I decided to approach this, because I really think that it's important for brides and um, brides to be who are in the wedding process to really share their experience as a bride planning a wedding during COVID or having to keep the COVID pandemic or the possibility of just COVID coming up in your day-to-day -day lives in your wedding planning process. And let me tell you, it is everything but untraditional. Um, First things first, I would highly recommend you get a organized binder or book. The person that we selected to be our wedding planner actually sent this to me even before um, we decided to have her be our planner, which to me was a plus. I'm like, well, if she thought about me even before I selected her, then she's the perfect match for me. So um, if you're somebody who's extremely organized and have the help from your mother or your in-laws to help plan the wedding day for you. You may not necessarily need a wedding planner, but because we were we're doing a quote unquote destination wedding in our home in our home state, I'm sorry, Florida, we decided to have a wedding planner because she's also a travel agent. So she was just the best fit for our situation. So I'm gonna be talking about the who, what, when, where, and why of wedding planning. I'll start off with who. So of course you want to figure out who you want to be a part of this big, this big day, but above all, who are you doing this for? So are you going to the courthouse or are you going to actually have a wedding? And who are you doing this for? And who are you going to be doing it in front of? These are important things to consider again with the COVID-19 pandemic, many places are requiring you that you limit the amount of people that you're gonna be able to have available in their space. So really sit down and evaluate the people who are most important or the people you wholeheartedly feel are going to get the most out of this day that you are. Um, what? What is it that you expect in this moment? Like. How is this moment supposed to make you feel? What is it that you want to get out of it? What is your vision for your wedding? I'm a very simple girl. Um, I'm a plain Jane, as you can see. I'm just me. So I never envisioned having a wedding or a specific place. But when the time came, I was like, oh my gosh. If I had a dream wedding, it would be on a balcony where I'm dancing the night away with my friends and family and we're just having a good time. No roof, no cares, tearing the roof down. So that was the vision I had and I stuck with it. And by the grace of God, I was able to get the things that I wanted in that venue. So I'm so excited in three months to be able to um, bring that vision to life. Um, I would definitely say again, know what you want and kind of stay consistent with what you want because it immediately becomes stressful when you kind of become um, double-minded in the decisions that you're making. Um, where? Where, of course, where will you have your wedding? So we decided again on Florida because we wanted to, the who, who we want to share this moment with, we wanted to share it with our family and close friends. A lot of people showed us so much love when we got engaged and it was uh, almost overwhelming to me because I'm just like, oh my gosh, I really never knew that people paid attention that much to our journey. And that just kind of meant a lot to me and us that, you know, people actually 
love our story, love how genuine and authentic we interact with each other and just how open and honest we are in our relationship. So we decided to have it in Florida because that's where the majority of our family and friends are. And we just wanted it to be convenient for those who we wanted to celebrate that moment with us. Um, so that's just a simple one with the where. When, when will you decide to have it? Um, again, we can't really say at this given moment, oh, I'm gonna have it once COVID's over. Like, no, start planning to have a COVID wedding. Like, as far as um, practicing safely, um, going by different rules and regulations of a specific state. Because for example, I'm actually currently having a hard time with rehearsal dinner spaces because they're currently going off of the rules and regulations in Orlando, Florida for that governor is and very strict. So it's just very stressful. And so you just have to really consider all of these things now when you're planning and you want to be able to plan it and still allow your planning process to be enjoyable because this is supposed to be a joyous moment for you. So you need to go in with a vision, a plan, and um, all of these things that I'm listing off to you, are you gonna have it on the day that you guys met? Are you gonna have it on, you know, just summer, winter, spring, fall? Like pick and know, especially um, the destination that you're gonna have it. Are you gonna have it in your hometown? Are you gonna have it in a place that's convenient for you? I mean, Georgia was never a consideration for us because again, we want it to be considerate to our families and friends and those who um, may not be able to travel or maybe not be able to take the time off to travel for the amount of days we need it to. So those are just things we personally consider. And the why, why are you getting married? Why is this important to you? And above all, make sure you consider yourself and your mate and all of these questions first before you consider anybody else. Both Jay and I grew up in single parent households. So I can't really speak for him, but I know me personally, I wanted to have a wedding that the dream wedding my mom wanted because again, neither one of our parents were married at the time. And ironically, they both ended up getting married, which is absolutely beautiful. So that <laughs> changed the whole dynamic of our thought process, which is still fine because we still had the same goal in mind. But why is it that you want to do this and what are the results you're going to get out of it when the time comes? Um, let me just say, you have to go in it um, empathetic. You have to be able to distinguish or establish, have a solid foundation and establishment for your relationships so that all the cliche things that people say is gonna happen or will happen, you kind of predestine that it won't happen for you. And if it does, you know how to be able to move um, forward effectively and still not let it affect your big day that's happening. Um, let's see. I think I pretty much mentioned everything I want in this video. Um, is there, if there's anything that I have not said, make sure that you comment below. Let me know if this was helpful, helpful for you um, with this little tidbit. We'll elaborate on different things in videos to come. But make sure y'all follow us on Instagram. We'll be popping in and out of there with different clips and videos from traveling that we'll have to do. Both Jermaine and I are going on our bachelor and bachelorette trip soon. I won't say the location because I want it to be a surprise for y'all. So make sure y'all tune in. Thank you so much for watching. We out, or I'm out rather.